hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn the second part of git squash uh, which we have started uh, uh, in the last video and uh, now in this uh, while we learn the git squash this time we will not learn uh, in the devops devops portal but we will see how we can do it in the vs code okay so as you can see currently uh, this is my devops portal and uh, first of all what we can do we can create a new repository i can name it git squash this time vs code right let me click on create so you can see currently as uh, i explained you in the part one of the video if you have not seen that please uh, go and watch that first so that you can understand the basic overview about what exactly the azure devops what is this repository what are these main branch and so on okay so currently this is my main branch which have you can see in the history it has a uh, one commit right now what i can do is that uh, i click on branches and click on new branch and let me create a new branch here out of main if you click on create you will see that now your develop branch also have the similar changes whatever is there in the main right i have the same commit now uh, we will uh, do some code uh, stuff to understand the git squash in the develop branch so what i can do i can clone my develop branch and then i can click on clone in vs code allow let me select on let's say devops okay so now you can see that i can switch to develop okay so what i can do is that let's take the same example which we have uh, which we took in the last part of the video so i can create one sample file text file and i'm making some changes here like one plus one is equals to let's say three okay save the file come here stage your changes and pass the commit message let's say this is my first commit okay and push this so i have successfully pushed my first commit to my develop branch okay now now i realize that okay uh, this is the wrong code and i have to make changes in it what i can do i can make my another change save the file stage the changes again commit message commit and push so the second commit is already pushed to the devops okay now again i realize that this is wrong thing and i have to correct my code and this time i will make the final correction so what i can do again save the file stage the changes and this is my third commit so basically to complete one work i took three commits okay uh, which obviously not required i can if i want if i know the like what is clear what exactly i want to develop then i can do it in one commit only but now if i push this which uh, this is my correct code and if you see now uh, the devops part let me refresh it and if you see the commit history you can see that this is the my first commit which i got it from the main branch and then uh, i pushed basically three commits in my develop but i wanted to write only one line one plus one is equals to two right so to write this th one line only i took three commits now this code which i know is uh, completely fine working fine no problem in it so obviously this code needs to be passed to the main but if i pass this to the main these three commit messages also get passed to my main branch and uh, as we know that we should always keep our main branch cleaner 
so there is no point that we should flow all these three commit messages to my uh, to this complete history to my main branch right so rather than I pass this uh, complete history to my main branch what I can do is that I can pass only one commit like this final commit I can pass to my main branch right so that uh, I have a cleaner uh, history in my main branch so how to achieve that in the VS code what I can do is uh, like first of all I need to clean my develop branch history okay rather than three commits or specifically if uh, if you see if I click on branches here develop and if you see here although uh, I have four commits in my develop but I want only two this is the first commit from the main and then I will combine all three into one and then we will flow these two to my main okay sorry the final one to the main so how to do that let's go back to the VS code okay and uh, let's open the terminal if you are using some extensions like git lens or git tree you can use that one as well but if you don't uh, if you're not using or if you have not taken any subscription of any uh, other uh, third party services then uh, we can directly use our terminal and write some certain commands and through that we can easily do the question so the first command which we need to write is get rebase okay then hyphen i hyphen i stands for interactive session like it will give you a window which have the complete details from where you can select which commit you want to push which commit you don't want to squash and something like that okay so that is why i now now head head is like where exactly uh, your pointer is which branch you have okay so currently uh, my pointer is to is on my develop branch so develop is actually my head okay so now this and we have to count like for example if I show you that I have this four commit I want my these three to be consolidated to be rebased into this added readme.md commit okay so total out of four I want these three to be uh, consolidated so what I can do head and then three because I want to consolidate my three commits so this is why I am putting the number three okay then press enter and now you can see that it is giving me this information that you have these three commits right because I put the number three there okay so the last three commits uh, on the develop branch are these one and I can currently it is in the pick format like which ever you want to pick and then squash okay so here you can see that some commands are written like if I type R it stands for reword if I type E it stands for edit S for squash F for fix up in this video we will understand about the squash so we will be more focusing towards this S keyword okay right now uh, when you're seeing this it is currently in a non-editable format so you cannot edit anything or you cannot change anything to make it uh, to turn it into the edit mode what you have to do you have to press a yes no caps lock or small does not matter you just have to press a once you press a you can see that this insert is now written here that means it is now in the edit mode and you can make the changes so now we know that uh, this is my original commit in which I made a mistake this is my second commit in which also I made a mistake and this is my final commit which is my actual code is written which is uh, write code right so what I can do is that I want to squash this third commit right I am using s for squash I want to squash the second one as well right so that this will be my final one and these two will get squash into this third commit or if you read this statement rebase 65A77D9 commit number 294FFE8 <coughs> onto this so if you see this 65A 
65a is my this one this commit and it is saying that in the range from 65 to 294 which is my last commit it will rebase onto my original uh, commit of which i got it from the main branch right so i just type ss there and first one remain pick so it will pick those one and then it squash to second and then it squash to third right in that way system will squash uh, the or you can you can in easy terms understand and it will consolidate all my multiple commits into one okay once you are once you feel that you are done with everything then you just have to press escape when you press escape insert mode is gone so now you cannot edit again now you have to press colon then w and then q like write and quit okay so just press enter and now you can see here changes like staging uh, changes are changes have been arrived in the stage as well and now it is asking me that what commit i want to move into my develop which will be serve as a, a final commit message okay so i have this first commit second commit third commit i don't want all these commit messages i just want only one so what i can do i have to edit this and as you know that i cannot edit directly so first of all i have to press a and then i don't want this first commit message so what i can do i can press hash hash means it will comment out that okay then second commit is also something hash right it will not move there now this is the commit message which i really want to push or if in that case you don't want that then then you can type a new message as well like for example a final commit right so once you're done with your comment message again we know first of all we have to uh I'll go out of this insert mode so press escape then colon w q write and quit okay so once it is done you can see this message successfully rebased and updated right so it is rebased now we have just have to push the changes to my devops okay so to do that either you can press this button or there is a command like git push hyphen f okay just write this and press enter and you are done now you see you are clear and if you see your devops let me refresh and now you can see that all my first commit second commit third commit is gone or you can say consolidated into this one as the last final commit and if you see what is there here just open this and you can see this is the change which is uh, the right code which uh, was my last commit right so now my develop branch is very clear no un non-useful commits available in my develop so now i just need to push this uh, for example if i go to the branches you can see my main is my default and currently develop is one ahead out of main which means there is something which is final commit is in the develop but not in the main so we have to create a pr via devops or what we can do we can switch to main and once we switch to main then what i can do i clear it first then we have to type git rebase develop right i want to get my main rebase with develop okay so that the commit message which is a part of uh, the final commit which is a part of the develop get uh, uh, like should come to my main branch as well press enter successfully rebase and updated and as you can see sync changes are available which is one and i as you know either you can press this button or you can type git push hyphen f press enter and you are done so let's see the changes in the 
branch section and now you see develop is neither behind neither ahead which means my main is also having the last final commit and my file which is having this content one plus one is equal to two right so uh, with this way uh, you can easily understand now this concept of git squashing it rebase like how we can do it on the devops portal itself or via vs code via certain git commands we can utilize the same functionality and make our both branches cleaner develop and main itself right so with that note uh, if you like uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video